Okay, this is going to be a video tutorial on how to install WordPress. Um, all you need is MySQL, um, PHP, you know. I don't show you how to do cPanel and all that junk, but maybe you're just scrounging together and you don't have the money. So, um, I found it really simple, and easy. I mean, it takes less than five minutes. Okay, so see, so you can pick file. But first, we have to create the database and the user. We don't have to populate the database. There's a really okay. I'm using something called WAMP. It bundles everything. Um, http www.wampserver.com slash en. But see, you got this. You know, downloads all that junk. Um, okay. Really check it out. Windows. I mean, there's WAMP for Linux. There's probably a whole sex package. Anyways, okay. So. Using something called uh, PHP My Admin um, comes installed with um, WAMP. So first thing, all you need to do is just create a database. Okay, you don't need to create any tables or any of that. Just create the database. That's it. Next, go back to home. I have no idea what version I'm using actually, so um, maybe different. Okay, the only thing is don't use WAMP on a production server. Because it leaves the default, you know, root with no password, which is stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna add a new user. We're gonna call this guy, for simplicity's sake, WordPress. Any you want to do local, because it's only going to be accessing the database from the same machine, assuming you've got, you know, the database. You know, if you're watching the video on how to do this on YouTube, you're probably close to broke. So, so password use text fit. I'm going to do, for this. I'm going to make it password. So done. Okay. So no database, none of that. No global privileges. None. Okay. So we're just going to create this user. The password only can be accessed the database from this machine, from my marvelous Dell Octoplex GX. 270 with a giga RAM and a 80 gig hard drive. I know, I know. My love like Vista, but it's not XP themed, but I want to. So, now we have this. So, you go home. So, I don't know if I already did this, but go home, you go to privileges, click on the user that we just created, WordPress. You click on this little guy, actually. So, you can edit. Make sure these. Do not do these. So you want to go to database specific privileges. It's got this, but it should say none. And that should say add privileges to the following database. You want to do use text field. You want to click on this drop down. Type click on WordPress or whatever the name of the database you created was. Now this should change to database specific privileges. Make sure it has. Then you want to click check all. Go. Click go. You should say you have updated. Okay. So. Okay. So. Database bit is set up. Now we just need to install, you know, configure WordPress. So let's go over here. Okay. Doesn't seem to be. Okay. It says the safest way is to create the file, but I mean, I don't do it. So. Just type in your database username. Not the username you want to use to administrate this. this is the database. Or since I use password because this is an example. Localhost. Remember, because we set only from localhost, that's the only way I can get it to work for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, no. So it should say, if everything went all right, it should say, this is WordPress 2.7, by the way. But anyways, all right, Sparky, you've made it through this part of the installation. So if you communicate this, that was the hardest part, right there. I click on the install. It's going to just say, Wow, that was the fastest I ever saw it. So you type in, this is just going to be my WordPress test blog. And let's just do me at myface.com. Why not? And since this is just a test blog, I'm not going to allow it to appear in search engines. Oh, this is work. So now it's just going to say waiting for local host, waiting for local host. It's got to zip stuff. It's got to, you know, populate the database. Like actually, we can probably go in here and see what it's doing. So we go to WordPress. 
Oh. See, it's created all these tables and it's populating them. All right, it's done. Now it's going to give you this randomly generated password. I'd actually say keep it if you're good at remembering things, but you know, try and do something you can remember that's reasonably secure. Like substitute some numbers for letters, like O, you know. Okay, so we want to do admin. Okay, and then we. No, not that. Sometimes Firefox can be annoying. Okay, now, paste. Login. What? Oh, sorry, wrong notepad file, I think. Okay, so, there. See, it's installed, everything. And you want to see your site, the blog? So, I open a new tab. I just, if you click on a mouse with the center button, click on a link with the center button in Firefox, to open a new tab. Really handy feature, I love it. Hmm? Sorry, it's taking so long. It runs like crap. Anyways, um... See, there you go. See, it's working. Alright, this that concludes this video.